uh, silencers in general, be they small interfering RNA or antisense, are um, pretty amazing um, therapeutic developments. I think in the field of amyloidosis and in the field of um, medicine in general, they hold a tremendous potential for the silencing of particular proteins that are associated with the development of various clinical disorders. And in this case, we're talking about transthyroid and amyloid, but we can silence the production of LDL cholesterol and treat, you know, uh, much more common diseases such as, you know, coronary artery disease or atherosclerosis as examples, or even other diseases like uh, porphyrias, um, maybe even cancers or so forth. Um, so the therapeutic potential is tremendous. Um, the drugs, uh, several of which have already been uh, developed and approved, have shown dramatic results in as certainly arresting the development of the phenotype for polyneuropathy and maybe in some patients, particularly in my experience, those who are younger with earlier disease, maybe even reversing the phenotype. And um, us in the cardiovascular community hold, hold um, out great promise for these agents in uh, patients with uh, a predominant cardiac phenotype. And actually there are now that I'm aware of uh, three phase three clinical trials that are investigating um, uh, the efficacy and safety of these agents in patients with transthyroid and amyloid cardiomyopathy, not just in those with a polyneuropathy.